Here it's oh. a Magnus on into a Cressilla. This is a great matchup for Colin. Oh, this is looking really good for Colin indeed. And he has gone really strong against the Shadow Bastiodon this time with his team. However, Tomahawk hasn't even brought it to the table. Yep, that is a big heads up play from Tomahawk. But again, he did not bring it to the table. But this Cresselia does not like to be matched up against, uh, against his Magnus on so much damage. But these wild charges will do even more damage to that Cresselia. Yep, first wild charge being thrown. Is this a bait? Is this not a bait? Tomahawk UK decides to shield it. The good thing is Colin has very neutral play in the back if he keeps this. But oh, this is a catch on the charger mark. This is going to be resisted. However, it is going to deal a lot of damage as well. This is the problem with running against, catching against Pokemon like Bas uh, Magnezone is that it still did have the HP of the charger mark. But in comes oh. this Cresselia. Cresselia does have access to this Moonblast. Moonblast is enough at this range to knock out that charger mark or at least put it in the red. In comes his Exorcer. Exorcer is going to deal super effective damage. However, Colin predicts the Bastiodon in the back, but there is an Altaria. Colin preserves the Shadow Whiskash for the Bastiodon that isn't there. Altaria is going to be able to drag breath it later on in the game. Does Colin know it yet? Does he suspect it at all? Oh man, this is kind of what he learned from the last game as well, that Bastiodon is always at the back. But unfortunately, this time around, it is not at the back. So going into the Cresselia, this means that there should be something that Colin has to do to kind of get this Cresselia back safe into his Pokeball. Colin still has a shield up. He has the Shadow Magna Zone in the back. That is energy dry. However, it is going to still deal a decent amount of damage against the Altaria. Are we going to see a Moonblast debuff here? Yes, whatever happens here, it's going to be down to that Magnazone. Magnazone is a win count. Let's see how Colin decides to play it out. It's going for a lot of farm, a lot of energy onto the Cresselia and Tomahawk firing off this Grass Knot. Grass Knot is, will be enough to knock out the Cresselia, but then again, but going for a shield here. Colin calls it, and this is such a genius play because he knows if there is Bastiodon in the back, you still win with only your Shadow Whiskash. If it is something else, you still need that Cresselia with a Moonblast against an Altair. Now the grass is being channeled by Tomahawk and Colin shields it as well. He wants more energy on the Magnezone. This is such a good safety play, oh. but there's another grass not reached. No, grass not comes in. That is so unfortunate. All he had to do was farm that Cresselia down, but Cresselia being that bulky, bulky Pokemon knocks the Magnezone out and it's all up to the Wishcash and Cresselia at the back. But look what we see here. It's an Altaria. The Altaria, the ever, ever present bird in the sky is going to give a very tough job for this Cresselia. On this this must be a debuff here, otherwise the Dragon Breath will knock out the Cresselia. Cresselia is going to channel the Moonblast and it is not a debuff. The Cresselia is being knocked out. The Shadow Whiskash is alone against the rest of the world. Tomahawk is smiling it away, knowing, ha ha, I outsmarted my yeah, opponent. Tomahawk knew that it was going to be the Wishcash. You could also see him even before the Wishcash came. He talks to the mic to Colin saying, is it the Wishcash? And Colin says, yes, this is unfortunate for the Wishcash. Wishcash has no play here. Yes, if you had the move Blizzard, there was some way to fight back against the Altaria, but there is no way this mud boy can do anything against that flame that Colin brings looks kind of weak to Altaria. Oh, this is a neutral lead. Of course, I want to see how much Smackdowns does on this Magnuson, but immediately swapping into the Annihilate and in comes this Cresselia. This is looking great for Colin. It's a great lead into a great swap, but Annihilate with energy, you know how much damage it can do. He has to call this. Will this be a Shadow Ball or a Night Slash? And he goes for the no protection. Brilliant gameplay by Colin. We can see great calls from both trainers on this game. He's throwing a Moonblast just before the Shadow Ball is reached on Tomahawk's side because, yes, the Night Slash was a bait. However, it is still important in this matchup because you need this and a Shadow Ball to knock out. Yeah, this is very interesting on how Tomahawk wants to play this out. Ideally, he would want this Cresselia to go shields down in this matchup so that the Bastiodon can get a yeah. super effective attack onto the Magnezone. And that's exactly what he's going for. Gets the first shield, but this means that the Cresselia is in the driver's seat especially because Colin called that night, uh, night Slash bait. And now this is a Grass Knot bait. It gets shielded. Even if it didn't get shielded, he could have gotten a nice little Psycho cut down. Farms up to the Moonblast. Charge attack priority event goes for the Shadow Ball again. Is this a range where you can farm down the Annihilate? I kind of doubt it. Oh man, Annihilate takes out that Cresselia, but this is looking really, really risky here. In comes a Wishcash. Wishcash, of course, has great matchup against the Bastion and also does not have a bad matchup against the Quagsire. This is a great heads up play by Colin, but not shielding this Night Slash is going to put the Wishcash so low. 
Yep, that is true. However, I think that Tomahawk really needs to align the Shadow Quagsire on to the Shadow Magnezone. Otherwise, it is going to run Rampage. Now, the Shadow Whiskash has a lot of energy. And even with this low HP, it is really, really strong against the Shadow Bastion. Yeah, so it, it not only has HP, it also has a protection yeah. to hide behind. So this Ooh. is great, great position to be in if you're a Colin. Let's see what happens here. In comes the Quagsire. Quagsire is immediately going to be met with this called on charge attack priority one by the Quagsire. This has to be a shield from Colin. Well, and I wonder why this was a shield, why he threw on charge attack priority. He's now going to go throw that skull. The question is, will he reach the next mud bomb before Tomahawk is going to reach the next Aqua Tail? I think he does. He, uh, he is three away from the next mud bomb, which potentially will be caught on the Bastiodon. Oh, he's actually four, four. and it's going oh. to be charged a priority. A catch here. And is this going to cost Colin the game or is it going to win him the game? This is going to deal a really sizable amount of damage. It's shadow on shadow. Boom. What a great amount of damage, but this Magnezone will get to this mud shot, but going for this... Ooh. Wow, and this is going to secure the game for Tomahawk, no. Yeah, it's it's going to be really close here. It will potentially secure the game for Tomahawk, just because, yes, the Wish Cash does have some energy on it, but Quagsire has that energy loaded. He will have to go for two Mud Bombs and hope to get that charge attack priority here. Farming all the way down and going for that Skull. Skull, will this be enough to take out this bulky, bulky Bastion? Skull is definitely super effective, deals a lot of damage on the Bastiodon, knocks it out, and even in the charge attack priority case, the Shadow Quagsire comes out on top! What a game! Ex amazing energy managed by Tomahawk. He had a bad lead into a bad swap, and he managed to come out on top. Colin went for the strategy that, yes, what a special event we have had here. Both these players locked in, and we see a Cresselia into an Altaria. This, as we know, and as we have been educating through the whole stream, is an attack weight dependent matchup on the Altaria, and also, in certain cases, the bulk point for the defense of this Cresselia as well. But I'm gonna say that Colin has quite the neutral play here, and in the back, it is looking rather good. The Shadow Whiskash can deal with the Shadow Quagsire and definitely can deal with the Charger Bug. The Altaria is also looking quite good in those matchups. Yep, and it's a huge heads up play by Colin there, uh, thinking that, all right, maybe he doesn't bring the Bastion on again and going for a very risky player. Cresselia, however, takes that Moonblast and will get to another Moonblast, tries to catch on the Charger Bug, but unfortunately, Colin takes even more energy and goes into the Altaria. We've seen Tomahawk played this match out differently multiple times here, but Crunch has the ability to debuff Altaria's defense. And if it does, then this match will be completely different. Yep, Crunch is really, really good in this matchup, especially because you charge so fast to it as well. Gets the debuff. The second Crunch would knock out. We're going to see a Sky Attack being thrown by the Altaria. Is Colin willing to invest a shield into the Altaria, or is he giving away the Altaria? No, maybe we have to find out here. Crunch comes in. Will Colin pull up a shield? Because, yes, if he does pull up a shield, he, we know that there's a great matchup for Altaria at the back. But Colin doesn't. Wow. This does not KO. That is so close. Will this be enough? Dragon breathing down that charger bug. Altaria doing Altaria things. This Altaria is an absolute monster. Altaria from Tomahawk. I'm saying Altaria a whole lot here is coming in. Dragon breathing down the mirror match. He's already almost tapping at the Shadow Quagsire. Wants to be there. Doesn't get the catch. The Moonblast is being thrown by the Cresselia. Do you really want to bring a Quagsire in here now? Well, I was just going to say, does Tomahawk call the Wishcash at the back? He does not. That Moonblast, if it was shielded, would have given the Wishcash no opportunity to get back into this game. But here we go. This is going to be extremely close. Sky Attack comes in. Protect Shield being pulled up for the Wishcash. It is the last Pokemon, the last stand Colin has against Tomahawk. Colin does not want to take any further damage. It's going to throw the Shadow Skull. It is going to be resisted. However, this is still powerful enough to take down the Flying Dragon. And now the last matchup, Shadow Quagsire comes in here, starts mud shutting, reaches to that Aqua Tail. We're going to throw a charge attack priority here against the Skull, but Colin isn't falling for it. Yeah, Colin is not falling for it, not shielding the first Aqua Tail. This is rather special for me because if you get the Skull debuff, then that's exactly where you want to shield it. Going for the Mud Bomb, will Tomahawk shield? No shielding the first move here. I think Colin's strategy is going three Mud Bombs. That is the win con here. One, two, three Mud Bombs. Yep, that looks like a good win con for him. Throws the next one, has to be shielded here, but the Cresselia is also at quite a lot of energy at this point. So if this is going to be thrown, swaps in the Cresselia, tries to reach for the Grass Knot. Is this a window for Tomahawk? Yes, this looks like a great window for Tomahawk. Is the Wish Cash four mud shots away from that mud bomb? Will it get there? Let's go there. One, two, two 
three, and four! four. That is charge attack priority for the Wish Cash, and this should be enough to knock that Quagsire, giving Colin one point and a way back into this grand finals. Oh, really, really strong. We have been missing the Shadow Bastion, and he is grasping on his last straw. Last straw, but let's see what happens here. What a great lead again for Colin. Skeletor into the Cresselia. Cresselia has immediately going into the Altaria. This is great news. This is exactly what Colin wants because he can get to this disarming voice, do that super effective damage, and then swap into his own Cresselia. Yep, Cresselia doesn't have the best matchup against Altaria, but it is still a really, really good one. You can go out there. Yes, don't take too much Dragon Breath damage there. Take one or two charge attacks from that Altaria. Actually, it's probably only just going to be one and then you're throwing a Moonblast yourself. Yeah, at this point, it doesn't matter. There is no need for investing a shield onto the Cresselia because Cresselia looks healthy, but no, there is the attack fall. Ooh, and now the game stops playing. Are we going to see them just play on after this? Or is this going to have to be a rematch? The backline looks so good for Colin. Both players are trying to go for their charge attacks again. There's a Skeletor in the back against Chrysalia and Annihilate. This would be huge. Yeah, it would be. So uh, Tomahawk kind of recognizing the importance of Switch in this matchup. He wants to preserve that Altaria. So he's staying in, investing a shield and going for the Sky Attack to essentially knock out the Cresselia. Colin says, all right, you have done your job. What I would want to potentially do is come in with the Skeletor and completely farm this Altaria down. Yep, I like and I dislike this play because look at the Dragon Breath damage. Yes, oh, and we're actually going to reach for a Sky Attack here. This shield cost the Skeletor so much damage as well. Yep, this shield, no shielding did cost it, but then again, if shielded, the Cresselia was under the threat of being completely farmed down, so immediately going into the spam tapping that Wishcash so that he can try to get some more advantage here. Two to one shields, Wishcash versus Cresselia is not that bad. And Tomahawk isn't bringing out the Pokemon, it seems. Now we're swapping immediately into the Shadow Whiskers because at this range, the Skeletor has a terrible matchup against Annihilate just because it has so much damage with the Night Slash as well. We're going to see a Shadow Boosted Skull here from the Whiskers. Yeah, bringing in the Cresselia into such a loaded Whiskers. The advantage of this is one move from the Cresselia will knock the Wishcash out, but Wishcash knows he wins the charge attack priority yeah. and goes for this Skald. Skald, if this debuffs again, puts the, the Wishcash in a very good position. To be honest, if this knocks out, then you can farm it fully down with the Skeletor. This is a potential win condition for Colin. He has two shields available to his name. He could just go for a big farm down. Those Psycho Cuts aren't going to deal any kind of damage. You can shield up one attack, and then you can throw a Shadow Ball into the Annihilate. But he needs to get that farm down slowly and steadily. The Psycho Cuts are adding up, not to mention the counters that will be coming in from that Annihilate. Will this be enough? One more Incinerate. That's all he needs to be able to do some work against this Annihilate. Going, Annihilate going for the Night Slash, immediately getting shielded by Colin. Colin had clicked on that Shadow Ball. Yep, this is so incredibly close. The Shadow Ball is going to connect here into a shield or not. Is Tomahawk calling a disarming voice at this point? He is not. He's calling the Shadow Ball. How fast is Colin going to be into the Shadow Ball? He is going to actually reach it. Throws the Shadow Ball into the Annihilate. Is it going to be the 2-2? Shadow Ball comes in and this will be enough to knock this Annihilate back into the Pokeball. And that is, there we go. 2-2. Two, two. Colin. Okay, so the game is about to start. Game 5 of the winner's grand finals. Here. It is Shadow Quagsire versus Cresselia. That is a very good lead for Colin. That is a great lead for Colin here. Quagsire will be one shot by this Grass Knot, but then again, slowly and steadily, Quagsire's Aqua Tails will add up. Let's see what Colin, uh, what Tomahawk does. Goes for that Stone Edge. This does decent amount of damage to the Cresselia because Cresselia is such a bulky Pokemon. But Colin, Colin going for the No Shield. Oh, Cresselia is so, so good here. Does not get caught here on this one. And to be honest, Cresselia is a fantastic safe swap for Tomahawk UK because he needs that Mantine later on for the Altaria. Yeah, he definitely needs that Mantine later on, but we have to see that the Cresselia is already a little bit chipped down from Colin. In comes his second Moonblast. Will this Moonblast get a debuff for Colin? Because if it debuffs, then this matchup will be hugely oh, in favor of Colin. And I just called it. Wow, this is huge. Tomahawk really needs to get 
<laughs> an attack drop back here to even the field. Colin Six coming in with the clutch attack debuff. Now everything seems to be against Tomahawk UK. Will Colin throw the next Moonblast before? Oh, he's actually going for a Grass Knot here. Two Grass Knot might knock out at this range. Colin recognizing that he needs two moves to knock out Tomahawk's as Cresselia. So going for that Grass Knot, which is a little bit more energy efficient and a little bit more cheaper than the Moonblast. In comes his Grass Knot, but then again, Tomahawk's Cresselia also needs two moves to knock out Colin's as Cresselia. This is going to come down to who can get to the second move faster. Yep, and it is for me looking like Colin is going to be there immediately. Knows the switch timer isn't up for Tomahawk. Is he going to shield this? Alignment might be crucial in this one. You never want your Shadow Whiskash on the Altaria. Tomahawk actually investing a shield. Is this going to come down to a Psycho Cut farm down after all? I am not sure if that is even possible because it's a Cresselia. In comes his Grass Knot. Grass Knot will be enough to knock out the Cresselia, but it is going to be crucial which Pokemon comes in here when Tomahawk sees the next Pokemon, and it's a Mantine. Moonblast coming in. This Cresselia was loaded with so much energy. This is the second Pokemon, the third Pokemon that it's doing damage to. Yeah, but it is going to be debuff damage, so not too much. And this might be a full farm down. This Mantine might actually go 1v2 with a shield advantage against the Quagsire. And the Altaria is going to throw the first Aerial Ace before the Aqua Tail is reached. But of course, you want to prevent a Stone Edge from hitting you first. Yep, Aerial Ace comes in here. This is, of course, neutral. But with the recent buff for Aerial Ace, it's doing quite a bit of damage. Mantine has so much energy to spare here. In comes this Aqua Tail. This is a bait, and Colin unfortunately pulls up a protection, but Mantine is still so yeah. far ahead in energy. Yeah, this Mantine just really needs to knock out this Quagsire. Tomahawk UK only has one shield available. The only thing he needs to do to win this game is connect an Ice Beam onto the Altaria. There's going to be the Altaria swap in. Now this is a dangerous range. Can he Dragon Breath down the Mantine before it gets to the second Ice Beam? First Ice Beam comes in here. Will Tomahawk call this? He does not pull up a Protect Shield, but in the very last second pulls it up, negates all that damage. Dragon Breath slowly and steadily adding up. Will this Mantine get there? Will this Mantine be able to get to this Ice, ice Beam? And it does! Oh, Mantine goes for the Ice Beam. Does it knock out the Altaria? This is double super effective damage. It is going to connect right now. The damage! Boom! Altaria is out of the playing field here. Quagsire comes in, but no it's way. not enough. Colin flips the bracket. Three two and we are going to have a bracket reset into the grand final what a way to come back into the tournament this did not look like it grandest of grand finals in comes these pokemon it's the bastiodon against the cresselia it is the bastiodon in the lead and colin is very aba against it however Cresselia is the lesser of the two evils if you compare it to the Altaria matchup against the Bastiodon. Let's see how much a Grass Knot does against the Shadow Bastiodon. It is still a Bastiodon in the end. It will do limited amount of damage, but then again, oh. it's okay. It's a respectable amount, but this Psycho Cuts do n almost no damage to the Bastiodon. I don't even see its HP being chipped. Yeah, that is true. I mean, Bastiodon just has enormous amount of HP there. The Stone Edge is going to connect. Does a sizable chunk. The next one will definitely knock out. Let's see how many grass knots Colin can get off here. Yes, grass knot coming in. Of course, as the Bastiodon, you do not want to shield any of these. It's all going to be up to this. How, will he decide to completely farm it down or will he be forced to throw a move here? Grass knot, this might put the Bastiodon in a range where another grass knot might knock out. Yep, that is true. So Co Tomahawk kind of has to throw, maybe. Also, we can see in the backline, Colin's Shadow Whiskash is never going to be answered by Altaria. So if it gets a full farm down on this Shadow Bastiodon, it might actually run rampage through Tomahawk's team. It's going to be crucial on if he decides to stay in this matchup or immediately swap out. Let's see what happens here. Whiskash comes in and immediate swap into that Shadow Quagsire. Quagsire does have access to the Aquatail, which is going to come in quick and fast against this Whiskash. Whiskash, will it shield? No shield by Colin. That is kind of interesting. I want to see how Colin proceeds in this matchup because I was thinking that you would immediately pivot out into the Altaria to have an aligned timer there to dominate this Quagsire matchup with shields and then try to swap out into the Shadow Whiskash as soon as the Bastiodon comes yep, back. Skull again. comes in and it gets that attack for all the 50% chance working in the favor of Colin Big. and going for the Skull again, but Tomahawk knows his counts, going with that charge attack priority, no shielding the Whiskash, putting everything on that Altaria, this is a great heads up play from Colin. It will all come down to can this Altaria Dragon Breath down that Bastiodon. This call will put the Quagsire into the red and immediate swap into the Altaria is what I'd expect. 
Wow, I'm really, really surprised. Oh. It actually gets to the Stone Age, but gets knocked out before Altaria gets the knockout here. The Bastiodon is going to come in. This is so much damage with those Smackdowns. Ken Colin, Dragon Breath down. Actually, we are seeing a lot of damage being done here. This first Stone Edge is being thrown. Will it be shielded? I guess. Of course, you guess. Shield comes up and Stone Edge's damage is completely negated. Bastidon is still there, still doing no. a ton of damage onto this Altaria. No Will way. the Altaria able to Dragon Breath down? No oh, way. So close and it gets a complete Dragon Breath down. We have the Annihilate with one shield, but how can it hide? Where can it hide? This will be a Moonblast. This is going to knock out if it lands and it lands. Oh, it barely doesn't knock out. However, it deals enough damage, so it's in Dragon Breath range. Colin, six, Dragon Breath is down a shadow title and actually the second one in one season. We've never had that before in Europe. And this is Shadow Magnezone into Shadow Bastion. Tomahawk not wanting to switch up his strategy in the lead there. Goes out immediately into Altaria. And now Colin Six is going to throw a wild charge and dip. I think that's the play here, but he's staying in a little oh. bit longer because he has that wish cash to answer that Bastion in the back. So this is a great heads up play by Colin. Will he shield this Kai attack though? No shield being called and the Magnezone is still in the yellow. One more wall switch and he has back to back wild charges. Wild charge number one goes into the Altaria. Will this be enough to knock out? I do not think so, but Tomahawk pulls up a protect shield. He wants to get this Magnezone out of the way. Oh, this is shielded again, going down two shields immediately. What can Colin do now? He can go, he can pivot out into the Cresselia, can be farmed down. That is actually crucial because now he doesn't have a switch timer. Let's the Shadow Magnezone go. You have taken two shields from my opponent. I'm full, fully fine with that. And now we're going to see a move thrown just before the Moonblast reaches. Yeah, Moonblast comes in here, but Tomahawk also has a chance to catch this move onto that Bastiodon. In comes the switch and he goes to the Cresselia! Oh, and this Cresselia is going to be very, very interesting here. Are we going to see a Diva first? Moonblast goes in, lands. Is that an attack fall? No attack fall here. Going into the Wish Cache, this is very surprising for me. Yeah, I can see why, because you know there is a Bastiodon in the back. That means that you can safely use your shields here on that Cresselia. You're going to deal a little bit more damage, actually a lot more damage, with those Shadow Boosted Skulls here. This is going to be very, very strong for Colin. He wants to use those shields, he gets to. Yep, Skull coming in. This is, as you said, going to do a significant amount of damage, but it's all going to come down to can this Cresselia get to two Grass Nuts? Based on the damage that Skull did, I do not think it can. Let's see what Wishcash does. Goes for that Protect Shield, and I would assume Colin would farm it all the way to the maximum, get yeah. as many fast moves as possible before he throws that Skull, and that is exactly what he's doing. One more, and goes for that Charge Attack priority. Oh. Goes for this Mud Bomb. Is this enough? Yes, it's a Shadow Wishcash, but then again, it is a Cresselia. It has has significant amount of HP. Will this knock out? Yes, it does! Huge knockout for Colin Six Weeks, immediately throwing the Skull debuff. Uh, Skull, he knows, hey, I need a debuff here. I don't want to take too much damage or else it's going to maybe get close against the Shadow Bastion on here. Tomahawk has no way of catching anything. You can throw a Skull right here. You can throw a Skull. He does throw the Skull. The Altaria is going to be knocked out after this and then it's going to be a Mud Boy party against the Shadow Bastion. Shadow Bastion is a great Pokemon, but that Pokemon cannot deal with this Wish Cash. Altaria being knocked out of the sky means this Wish Cash is ready to play. Mud Bomb comes in. Mud Bomb number one. This is gonna do about 50 to 60 percent to that Bastiodon, and this Wish Cash is gonna outpace to the next Mud Bomb before the Bastiodon can do anything to it. That is so big. The Mud Bomb is reached. It is going to connect, fully charging up the bubbles. This is reverse match point for Colin Six. All Colin needs now is exactly what Tomahawk needed in the first set of Grand Finals. For every Psycho Cut that doesn't go through, you're going to get a Smackdown almost. And now we're going to see Altaria on Tomahawk's side against the Shadow Whiskish, but there's no Bastiodon in the back. This is not the matchup you want to see. Immediately going on to the Cresselia safe shop and is immediately met with this Charger Bug. This is a positive matchup for the Charger Bug, but it will come down to, again, the attack fall here. Moonblast is going through, not shielded by Tomahawk. Will we get that attack fall? It's a 10% chance and no nope tomahawk uk is charging up to two x scissor and is going to throw those are probably going to farm up a little bit more after this to exit this matchup with low amount of hp and high amounts of energy 
Yes, and going Ooh. going a little bit more, I think, there. But in this Exeter would be enough to knock out the Cresselia, unless the Cresselia has a lot of defense. Let's see what happens here. Does it survive with the HP? No, unfortunately not, but in comes a Wish Cash. Wish Cash of Vever does resist a lot of these moves that the Chuckbug stores, but the Exeter is neutral, and this means that slowly and steadily, this Charger Bug is going to chip down on this Wish Cash as well. Preserving HP on the Charger Bug was well played by Tomahawk, because this is now also going to diminish the HP of the Shadow Whiskers. You're absolutely right about that. Probably going to be a no shoot because, yes, you have the Altaria in the back and Shadow Quagsire can clean up whatever is coming after that. I doubt that with this situation where you have an energy disadvantage even, you're going to be able to 1v2 with Shadow uh, with the Mantine. Yeah, it's going to come down to can call in, call those stone edges. Here comes the aerial ace. This is slowly and steadily going to add up against the Wish Cash, but he will also have to deal with that two shielded Altaria at the back. In comes the Quagsire. Quagsire are slowly and steadily charging up to a lot of energy and immediately going for that stone edge. Every shield that's being pulled in this matchup means an extra shield for that Altaria, and Altaria is going to rule the sky with the shields. Yep, and Colin is going to farm up one more wing attack. Knows that the Quagsire is not quite at a stone edge here. Colin is playing this matchup with shields. He has called the first stone edge. Can he call the next charge attack from Tomahawk UK? He's going to throw another stone edge. If he shields this, this is absolutely huge. That is a win condition for Colin to maybe reach an Ice Beam, and he doesn't call it! Oh. He gets connected to the Stone Edge! What an impressive amount of damage that Stone Edge did, and this Quagsire gets to this Aquatel. Aquatel will knock out the Wish uh, the Mancini if unshielded, but there comes a the Protect Shield, but Altaria still has that shield to hide behind. The energy on this Mantine will have to go somewhere, and another Aquatel comes in. Unfortunate for Colin. He wanted to try to completely farm down the Quagsire, potentially bait an Ice Beam, and land on the Altaria, but that did not work out. Wish Cash now looking helplessly at the sky as is Altaria. Altaria Dragon Breath sits down. Yeah, thank goodness. I thought we were going to just end the stream right here, but no. We actually get more matches in this grand finals, and the winners for E Weedle, the current EYC champion. And now the game starts. This is Altaria on the Shadow Magnezone. Oh. This is Altaria on the Shadow Magnezone, and this is exactly where you want to see this Altaria for Colin Six. Let's see how he decides to play it out. Will he go immediately to the Wild Charge? No. He's going to charge up to two and potentially throw back to back. Tries to catch a move on this Charger Bug. Immediately met with this Wish Cash. This is a great position to be in if you are Colin. Oh, I am not too sure about that, to be honest. He no shields. The Xs are here. I think that he predicts that there is no Bastiodon in the back for this game, because now that the Shadow Whiskash is going to take a lot of damage, the Altaria after this matchup can come in again. You just straight up no shield this and bring in Altaria after that. You're exactly right, Leo. I think this is a great position to be in. If you are Tomahawk, I was wrong. And this is going. To, it's looking very good here, because this Xs are, is not going to be enough to knock out the Whiskash, but if Tomahawk invests shields, he can flip this matchup. Oh, BM Smackdown with the <laughs> BM Smackdown with the Bastiodon. Can we see a BM Smackdown with the Bastiodon here? Or are we going to see the Altaria just going for a quick Dragon Breath down? You see what Colin did here. He made sure his Charger Buck was very low, so the Altaria does not get a lot of farm. The, Mag the Magnazone still has two Wild Charges loaded, right? Will he make the play? Will he go into his Cresselia now it's to give quack. that Magnazone a lot of play here? Goes into the Magnazone and in comes his Wild Charge. I think he is predicting the Quagsire in the back. The Wild Charge goes unshielded. Tomahawk might be predicting a bait. This knocks out no! the Altaria. And there is the Shadow Bastiodon against the Magnazone. But Magnazone is at so low HP, it's going to get severely demuffed after this. Is this going to be extra damage from the Smackdown? Yes, in comes a Wild Charge. Wild Charge being shielded. It will get to another move. Yes, it has a mirror shot loaded. We saw how close the Cresselia Bastiodon matchup was. Cresselia needs to do everything in its power to put this Bastiodon into that range for one mirror shot to knock it out. Mirror shot is still super effective against the Bastiodon. First Grass Knot comes in and slowly and steadily chipping away at this big wall of a Pokemon. Bastiodon saying, Come at me. Stone Edge is being thrown. This might be good for Colin if he can get to another charge attack that in the end knocks out the Bastion because this is effectively a two versus zero shield scenario for the Cresselia. You want to keep your shield for the Shadow Magnezone there. Yep, you definitely want to keep a shield, but then again, the 
we saw how close the game was, right? Yeah. So it will come down to the very last minute here. Let's see what Bastiodon does. Bastiodon, will it go for that Stone Edge? No, it's charging up to even more energy. Grass Knot comes in. One more Grass Knot, I think, will be enough to knock out this Bastiodon. Yeah. What will Tomahawk do? Because if if the Cresselia shields this, it will outpace the Bastiodon to another move. The Stone Edge is going to connect this, would not even knock out the Cresselia. However, Colin is very close to another move. Tomahawk would have to definitely shield this one here. The Grass Knot is going to be thrown. This forces a shield. Is it going to be overcoming the Shadow Bastiodon without the Whiskash? Can we actually see a Magnezone win here? Does he switch in the Magnezone immediately? No, he actually goes to farm down a little bit more. He gets connected with the Stone Edge after this. Stone Edge goes in here. This will knock out the Cresselia. Does that Magnezone have that mirror? Shot. The mirror shot would be enough to knock out the Bastion. Oh, the Cresselia lives! The and the dream, but the Cresselia does not get to the grass knot. Magnazone will come in and that mirror shot lands! Colin Six! The mirror shot is going to connect on the Shadow Bastion and he takes this game! Colin Six has done it before! He has done it again! He is a three times champion! three-time champion and the re special event champion for Bologna. What a way to end a 